I'm sick of hiring people that are uninspired. I'm done with people that make more excuses than they can make money. I'm over the book smart and the people stupid. I'll throw up again if I hear about what you did rather than what you can do. This isn't a contest. This isn't a challenge. This is the way I hire people. And I have two rules. One, find great people. Number two, never tolerate average. And the people that refuse to settle. Trust me. If you have even the slightest hint of being a whiner, crybaby, or little bitch, I'll find out. This is whatever it takes. Who was late? Why were you late? Stuck in traffic. Three out of six of you are late. One person didn't show up. Th th this is the problem I have with hiring people. You tired? No, right. Okay, why were you late? Stuck in traffic. I was in New York uh, yesterday and I got back last night. I had a death in the family. Found out my brother-in-law died uh, Friday morning, so I just got back from New York uh, last night. What's the death in the family in New York have to do with getting stuck in traffic today? Yeah. I'm very punctual. Were you punctual today? No, I was not. We're thinking you're the guy that's going to get the job here. You went from being the forerunner to, do I even keep you? This guy, how old are you? 50. 50 years old, and you're late. Yes, sir. Unbelievable. Here's the deal. I'm cutting one person right now before we go into this first exercise. Who has whatever it takes? I have whatever it takes. I have it. Really? What's this? What's this? Huh? Okay. Do you? Really? Yeah, absolutely. Who okay. wants a job? I want, yeah, I want it. I do. I want it. Okay. I'm sorry it won't happen again. I mean, it took me an hour and a half to get here. It's usually an hour. Where, where do you live? I live in Coral Springs. Okay. Well, how are you going to get here tomorrow on time? I'll be here. I'll leave at 6 o'clock instead of 7. All right. Who doesn't want this job? Raise your hand. You're going to throw your guts up. Guarantee you I'll get a puker today. I'm going to break you. Quit now. My wife yesterday was saying, you're going to give these people a heart attack. If you're going to have a heart attack, I want you to have it before I hire you. Not on my time, on your time. Is that funny? It is, indeed. Why is it so I funny? I think it's funny. You're out of work, dude. How's this funny? I'm, a, I'm out of work. I, I, I have a job. I'm a waiter. OK. I'm good. Who do I cut right now? Give me one person to cut. I told John this when he got here at about 8.10, that he's, he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell them I got here at 7 something. And I said, if you say that, I will snitch on you. And that's what I'm doing. So I would cut him. Why are you trying to run him under the bus right now? You asked me who I would cut from this, from this line. But you gave me a bad reason. Why I cut him because he, he told you he was going to say 750? He didn't say 750. But he said 801. You, you would cut John. John, who would you cut? Who I could cut, honestly, but I'd cut, I'd cut everybody but me. I, I, I'd cut him because, I mean, for crying out loud, you're back there talking in tongues. I just wonder if you got in front of one of Mr. Carlin's customers, would you, if he said no, would you start talking in tongues to him? I mean, and I don't even know this gentleman, but he explains the naked clown tied up in the bathroom. All right. But you keep. Wait, what? He explains the naked clown tied up in the bathroom. <laughs> Dude, you gotta quit busting on me about the pen. And you, young lady, you're probably great. I'm gonna guess you're great, except I wouldn't know because I can't understand you. So I hope, <laughs> you know, I don't hear, I don't understand what you say. And the gentleman, and good, and the gentleman down at the end is a stuffed shirt. He's, a, he's an empty suit, he's got the personality of a chair. Let me head out there, I'll go to the public, I'll get your money out of their pocket like a goddamn golden retriever and bring it back to you. I feel like I'm with a bunch of clowns. This is a joke. Who would you cut, me? Jabber. I would cut him. Who? Um, I don't know his name, but we call him Pimple. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't want to be here early and stay late, every one of us work our asses off here every day. Sherry had her birthday yesterday. Sherry, how late were you here? 8.30. Who should I cut? John. Why? Because he doesn't understand you? Yes. I am watching, observing all the time. Really? No. That can't be the reason. No, because... He's being honest. I mean, the truth is he doesn't understand you. Cut every, he wants what? to cut everybody, so I Dude, cut him. What are you doing? This is where I belong, man. I'm telling you. I'm get, back, get back in the line, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who would you cut, Elena? Definitely one of the late people at this point. Okay, everybody that was on time, take a step back. He said you're a empty, what'd you call it? Suit. Empty suit. I'm going to be my only competition today. I'm the only one that's going to be uh, getting in my own way. 
tall, big dude. Can't remember his name. He's got the personality of a chair. I mean, he's, hi, how you doing? Good. I'm not worried about John Hamlin. Thank you, sir. Yeah. My expectation is, is to win. Preacher guy talking in tongues and walking around saying praise Jesus. The three of you got a shirt. You made the cut because they were late. Who posted a video for me? Take a step back. You have whatever it takes. You get your pass. There's your lifeline, dude. You won't be able to use it again. Which one of you's got all the cologne on? I work as a actor, but it's better to be fresh. What are you saying? I'm not fresh? I'm saying for me. Cologne. I have a natural scent. Uh, cologne made me fresh. Came from Cuba to have a real life in the United States. You got to get the cologne off, OK? Or I'm going to cut you. Why? Because it's driving me nuts, dude. It's killing me. OK? It's just a thing I got, bro. I just. So here's one, this one. I, I don't know. Just get it off, man. Me one. Just one, bro. Bro. Oh my god. My mom passed away two years ago. So after that, it was really bad. Probably don't need either one of you, actually. I think you got him right as a clown, and you're a troublemaker. One thing being wild and crazy and having, you know, and the, and the other is just disrupting things. Would you want to work with him? You don't think you could work with him? No. Could you work with him? No. Could you work with him? It was tough being in the room with him. I don't want to work with him. Did you need to go run your own deal. You're a loose cannon. You th I, honestly, this is like, this is like out of your books. This is my enthusiasm. This Take is going for Take a step back, it. dude. OK? Take a hike. I did whatever it took. That was leadership. Yeah, what you saw right. there was true leadership. I am the mole, John Hamlin. Here we are again with a bunch of great, some not so great. The great people are going to shine through the average people, the fakers, the pretenders. Dude, this guy wears a pocket square. Like, I like a pocket square, but he's got like a pocket kite. I'm struggling really bad. No money at all to pay food, to, to, to have my, my life like I used to. But look, the cat showed up. He showed up, and Miss Professional didn't. No! I got John in there antagonizing. Wait till they show up and find out who John really is on his Phenom 300, $12 million jet. One V. Was he on time? Yeah, Please no, tell no, me no, he no. was on time. No. <sighs> no? No. I had a little setback this morning, but um, I'm not letting that, that stop me. My buddy John said, this guy that I thought was so good mm -hmm. is an empty suit. Anything that's put in front of me, I give it 100%. Any wall, any, any obstacle, it's all about getting over it and getting through it. Tall, big dude, can't remember his name, no smile, no anything, no personality. What's he bringing today? He's the pastor today. I firmly believe that Grant Cardone, with, up there with like a Donald Trump or a uh, Tony Robbins. Well, the that's pastor what he's trying My bald spot, I said I'm 37. I, I really like Lucy. I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to utilize her fully. Because just because just because I'm not sure where we would put her. I think today is going to be a lot of action. I think today is going to be excited. She looks beautiful. She cannot get three words out in, in English. We don't know what is going to happen, but uh, for me, it looks interesting. Let's use her and her gifts and her talents. You can't speak Spanish, can you? I need this kind of expansion, and English down there doesn't work. The goal here is to find out what these people's true gifts are. If this guy's got some gifts, I want to know what they are. It's an empty suit I got to find out before we hire him. If this guy can't show up on time, let's smoke him out today. This guy, dude, surprise me, please. I'm looking for great people, okay? I don't need troublemakers. I don't need clowns. I don't need pretenders. I need skilled, able, intelligent problem solvers that are willing to do whatever it takes. I'm going to take you on a physical challenge to find out if you really want this. You're going to be challenged, I'm telling you. If you don't really want a job here, you don't want to show up here every day, if this is just for show for you, if you think I'm running a game show or a TV show here, you got it wrong. This is the ultimate job interview. Pimp bull. If you're not serious about this, get out of the lineup now. Next time I tell you to wipe the cologne off, okay. get in line and do it. Do not ask me a question. Okay. These people do not question me. Okay. She does. <laughs> but these three don't. They're like, yes, sir. If they don't agree with something, they'll tell me in privacy. Hey man, I don't agree, but once I make the decision, they get in line, they comply, and we get it done. Go put your t-shirts on, put swim trunks on, and put tennis shoes on. 
and I'll see you in 10 minutes. Jared is the vice president of my sales organization. That is the lifeblood of this company. Revenue is what makes this company work. We have great products. We offer great services. We provide consulting for companies around the world. This man is in charge of that revenue. The first thing you're gonna do, is he's gonna take you on a run. I'll meet you and show you the second part of this challenge. You can be cut for stopping. Uh, never stop moving. A lot of action. Keep them moving, Jared. Keep them moving. Keep them moving. You want to work for me? You want to work for me? Who's got whatever it takes? A lot of running. Pull through. Uh, I was I was keeping up with Jared just fine. Came in first with that. You guys tired already? Huh? How yeah. old are you, Lucy? Excuse me? How old are you? I don't want to answer that. So How old are you, big man? 33. 33. How old, Pastor? 4-0. 4-0. How old, Pimpo? 31. 31? 41. How 36. Old are you? How old? 36. If you haven't been working out, Come you're going to regret that today. You're here for the show or you're here for a job? For the job, for everything, sir. Why are you late? I'm late because um, I had my video on my phone. As you can see, my phone was broken. My daughter, she threw it against the wall. I don't know how she threw it, but last night when I got up, my phone was broken and my video now, was done. What's that got to do with you being late? Because I was trying to send the video before I got here because I know you said that you wanted the video and I, yes, I was trying to do whatever it took. To get a video. I didn't sleep, sir. I was keep, here. Keep moving. Keep moving. Listen. I was here since eight o'clock trying to send this video. Well, I it's it's. Why I did have you do it proof. yesterday? Why didn't you do it the day before? Why I, did you do it before sir, that? I did and I had it on my phone, sir. So what, why are you here now? I'm here because I want to show you that I'll do whatever it takes, okay, sir, and you, I really you want, want to do this what job. these guys are about to do? Yes, sir. Okay, take your heels off or you can come with your heels. You're going to swim to the sailboat. First one to the swim, to the sailboat. Get to the bend. I don't know how to swim. I don't. I really don't know how to swim. You loafing, son. I'm not trying to be the guy always first and burn myself out and, and lose. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of this as a more than one event. So. There's 12 million people without jobs in this country. There's 12 million people in this country without work. There's 20 million people underemployed. I can't see your feet. I can't see your feet. This way. This is where you need to go to Grant. You can. There's no such thing as can. I almost, I almost drowned when I was 14, sir. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's I, good. Okay. I really don't know how to swim. Oh, I didn't know that. Girls. Okay, girls. Get in the water. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Okay, look, we got a new contestant. I thought your odds got better. They didn't. Oh. Uh, this girl doesn't even know how to swim. That's how bad she wants this job. Lucy doesn't know how to swim. She wants this job. Lucy, you want this job? Yes, I want it. I love your courage. Okay, right now, the pastor's in the lead right now because he made it to the sailboat first. Praise God. Okay, then who was second? I was. Robard, you barely made it. Uh, it was rough. It was rough out there. Barely made it. Me? Yeah, how's that cologne doing right now? You can quit any time you want. It's just a job. It was rough. I mean, you could feel your hand getting, like, strained by the rope. It was probably a lot harder than it looked. There's plenty of jobs in America. No job interview is like this one. We're being tugged is where I had my problem. Water got started drowning. Fucking let go. You let go? Problem was is I didn't have my technique right. So what? Get a rope. The only way you fail is if you quit, son. Look at Robards. He would be least likely for me to think that he would drop off first, and when he did, he started crushing himself over it. I don't need the guy beating himself up. That's not valuable to me. I need the guy to say, hey, I let go, I hit my max, I need to grab hold again. Every day, folks, you're gonna have to do things that are scary, things you've never done before. Ladies was 
behind me like, ah, like screaming. And, and I was just like, just holding on. And <laughs> Keeping your head above water, you know. Oh, America, give me the W. I wasn't letting go. I let out a big warrior scream. Yeah, okay. ah! Ah! Oh, we have and I kept going, and I stayed on, no matter how much it hurt. And there's a big scar on my on my hand right now. With you, man, you ready to quit? I'm ready to go? You see that house right there? <sighs> That's Cher's house. Oh! <laughs> I need you guys to swim to Cher's house, and I need you to swim hard. I don't care if you can swim, you can paddle, you can kick, you can scream your way over there. Somebody gets a pass if they get there first. Kick! I got. Keeping your head above water, taking your way. Thank you. Swim! I'm a swim! I'm a swimmer! I'm a swimmer! <laughs> What's the name of this show? Whatever it takes! I'm okay. Get out here! Yeah? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> You now I wasn't first, but I finished everything successfully. What'd you learn about yourself out there, Pastor? What I can swim. I just started like I'm a fish or something. Like I have reptilian scales. What'd you, le what'd you learn about yourself, Robert? Even when I fail, even when I hurt, that I can get back up and I can get after it again and I can get it harder than the time I did it before. And I'm okay with failing because I took the lead and I took the risk and I took the chance to get out on my own. Ladies, what y'all learn about yourselves out there? That we can swim now because of Grand Cardone. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we made it. What's it feel like to confront your fears? It feels good. Whatever it takes. <laughs> really you ever gonna be late for a job interview again? No, sir. No, sir. And I really apologize. No, sir. It won't ever happen again. Who should I cut right now, Pastor? Who should you cut? Yeah. Who should I cut? Well, I'm cutting I, two people I, right here, right now. Y'all did great. Robots, what'd you learn? Even when I'm hurt and even when I fail, I get up and I do it even harder the next time and figure it out. I learned not to be late, and even if I'm gonna be late, better late than never. And I learned how to swim. What'd you learn, V? About yourself. So what I always knew. I mean, I'm, I may not be the first, but I, I don't quit. I finish. I learned that um, the same as when I play golf. I'm not there to enjoy the scenery. I'm there to get the ball in the hole to win. That's what I'm here to do. I can learn, learn that they don't work that bad. That's right. What'd you learn, Pitbull? I learned that uh, life is a risk. Tell me two people I should cut. Who didn't work? What two people would you cut if you were me? The last two. Two persons. Lucy, who should I cut? Two people. Make a decision. V and Pastor. OK, Pastor, who should I cut? Nastasha, because she was late, and, and V, because he wasn't uh, putting as much effort as I thought he was going to. Okay. V, who should I cut? Two people. Um, her. Okay. Who should I cut, Nastasia? V and him. These two? Yes. Okay. Who should I cut, Robo? Nastasia and V. Strongest man here, let go of the rope first. Never know. I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that without doing this. Nastasia, you don't have whatever it takes. You were late. You tried hard. You faced your fears, but you were late. Yes, sir. I understand that. And, and you had excuses you. for me. And I agree with you. Okay. But at the same you time, you don't have whatever it takes. I may The two girls, I don't care if they can swim, they tried and they learned something about themselves. In fact, Nastasia was one of my favorites and I would have kept her even though she was late if she wouldn't have made up so many excuses. Thank you. Thank you, sir. How did you do on the water? You said you learned how to swim. Yeah. I mean, you know, I had the, the life on. And so you kind of confronted your fear? You feel better yes. about water yes. now? Yes, I feel a lot better. Wow. Well, I admire your courage for getting in there and addressing and confronting your fear and coming back and showing up and doing it regardless. I'm hugging first, okay. Who was late today? You two guys were late? Were you on time? You were on time? I was early, yes. You were on time? Early. You two guys step up to the front? Why should I cut him? I don't know what other skills he has than an impersonation. What are your skills? Marketing. Internet marketing. Plus, this is his Can first. Can you make me money? I can. Why should I cut him? 
Uh, he doesn't have personality, he doesn't have decisions, he doesn't have too much to, to show. What can you do for me? Money. How are you going to make me money? Because I do. This man's got marketing skills. Real this isn't just about whatever it takes. It's about do you have skills? Do you have ability? Do you have intelligence? I do for 10 years. Ask me something. Pitbull, you don't have whatever it takes to work for me. Pimpbull is not a bull. Pimpbull is spending too much time trying to act like a clown. He needs to develop his skills and he needs to develop some heart. Thank you for coming. No problem. Thank you for having me. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. Want me to work for them, but the thing is that if you can make it someone, it's for someone, another one is waiting for you. Did awesome. you have a great experience? Oh, yes, so much. I love oh, it. Really? I love it. I love it and I learn a lot. The most important thing is that. And everything happened in your life, you learn. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get it this time, you get another time, but that was a pleasure. And the most important thing for me was uh, make it happen. Ultimate job interview. Whatever it takes, lo que sea, porque conseguir un trabajo. Look, I don't care if these people can swim or not. I'm not hiring Michael Phelps. I'm just trying to find out what's inside these people. What are their fears? What are they not confronting? Are they taking care of themselves every day? If you think you were challenged here, Wait till you see what's next. I'm gonna hire one of you today. One person. You wanna work with me? Hell yeah. You wanna work with me? Yes, I do. Dude, you gotta get your hustle on. You gotta hustle. I'm seeing you lag behind. He's got the best skills of anybody in the competition, but he's missing the hustle muscle. You are fourth to the boat. She almost beat you and she can't swim. I don't care what language you speak. A third of the planet speaks Spanish. To help me in marketing, you gotta work. You, I don't know what you can do for me, but you got heart. CrossFit is the most popular sport exercise for bodies today. I'm about to push you way beyond. V, what the hell? My grandma runs faster than that, and she has been dead for 30 years. Your knee hurts? I keep my knee in the boat. Okay, get back in there. Okay. Okay, dig in, baby, dig in. My goal is to make you puke here today. I'm in better shape than you are. You got 20 years on me. Pastor, bring it. Amen. Big boy, quit beating yourself up. Whatever hostility you got inside you, take it out on this yes, place. sir. You think you can get these, these people in shape? I don't know about that. Last man standing. I know you can't get them in as good a shape as I'm in, <laughs> but try, okay? First one that pukes gets a pass. Go get him. Who do you think wins? Go. You think Lucy wins? Whoever wins gets a job with me. Chad, I need you to kill him, dude. Done. I want to find out where they really live. I want to find out who is really underneath that epidermis. <laughs> underneath that face. Underneath your bullshit, I want to find out who lives in your house. Break them down now. If you can get me a heart attack, I'll give you a bonus. I'll give you 500 for every heart attack I get. I say we cut them all and I hire you. Keep eyes all the way to the floor. Go again, burpee. Okay, split the gator in real quick. You gotta hydrate real quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Hustle, hustle, hustle! Oh yeah, oh yeah! The rep on your chest and the floor. The rep on your chest and the floor. Oh yeah! You got, are you ready to quit? Who wants to quit? 10 seconds, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Find a rope, claim your rope. V, you should be able to do this because you're paying attention, right? Buddy. My little buddy.
to get to pass. Congratulations. No, she beat you. Robards, second place again, son. Did you even make it up there? You can't just look good in life. OK, let's go. Grab some Gatorade. Oh, pretty go. girls have a disability. You can't just depend on being pretty. V is giving up. V, did you, meet, did you, did you even make it up the rope? A quarter of No, he way. didn't even make it up the rope. Do you want to quit? Two feet. You going to throw Touch up on me plate, today? Touch the plate, Lucy. Huh? Touch the tip of the plate to the floor. Why, why can't you throw up, man? What? Why aren't you going to throw up for me, Pastor? I have strength. Where's your strength come from? The Holy Spirit. I love that, brother. I love a man that believes. Amen. You're not working very hard, though. You got you to gotta dig in now. Come on. Oh, oh V. V, V, give it up, V. You know you want to quit. Who's the weakest one? Which one of these two is the weakest? Him. You think he's the weakest? Thinks you're the weakest, V. V, she's got a three-year-old stronger than you. Oh, I want to quit. Let me tell you something, okay? This is exactly what it's going to be like working for me. Huh? Every day, every day. Who's going to be the first quitter? Who's going to be the first quitter? Oh my God, Robards is getting into the zone right now. Keep your eyes open, Pastor. This is not a time for prayer. This is a time for muscle. This is a time for will and determination. You know what? You think this is hard work? How about being out of work? The next person that stops is out. V, you're done. I told you. One more pause and you're out. You're done. Oh, now you don't want to quit. This is the price you paid for not taking care of yourself yesterday. Whatever it takes. First person that pauses is out. Go get you some Gatorade. Pastor. Yes, sir. What happened? All that swimming. I... Keep your eyes open. Look at me, man. You did great. You did great. Thank you. OK? <coughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thanks for reaching deep. Thanks for your belief. All right? Yes, sir. You're a good man. Thank you. Get out of here. OK. Your chances just improved. Real quick, I won both swim races. I won that race, except for her. And you told me I had a pass. You quit. I didn't quit. I just couldn't do it any longer. You tell me you can't pick this up one more time? I can. Sure you can. You quit. Have you seen the video that I made? I have not. I'm going to delete it. Okay. You can delete it. Do whatever you want with it. See? See, now I'm meeting you now. I'm going to delete it, Grant. I'm going to delete it because I'm not getting my way. See, I just met you. Thank you very much. Well, you told me I had a pass. OK, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you coming. Pleasure God bless you. OK, I'm going to tell, tell you what he just quit on. Tonight, I'm bringing two of you to a private jet in a Phenom 300. OK, you got to get out of here, man. You quit. Say you have the pass. Everybody heard him. He said the first one to get to that sailboat gets a pass. And the thing is, like, I just. But I don't understand. You were freaking killing it. What happened? You got dizzy. What happened? I just, I just felt like a, I just felt like this pain in my, in my like back, and I just, I just couldn't do it. So you did really, really good, and we were really glad to have you here, and I'm glad you showed up, and I'm glad I met you. Oh, thank you. Thank nice you to meet very, you too. very much for being here. What are you guys doing, man? This is the worst fucking job market in the history of the United States of America since the Great Depression. You're not in shape. You don't want it. You don't know the rules at 40 years old. And you, you beat yourself up when you lose. You guys act like, you, you act like you're on vacation. Your faith will not get you through the economy. Whatever you've been doing won't get you through the economy. Your skills and intelligence will not pay you today. Lucy, you can't just be pretty. Get up to my office, I'm cutting two of you. And you're halfway there. Two have to go. Jason, I think I was unfair to you downstairs. And I try not to be unfair. I make mistakes as a business owner. You told my wife something, but I did my video. I came in first, swimming to the boat. You never let go. And then you met me on the street, and what did I tell you? Don't ever leave. Dude, you never leave. Never leave. I was fired from the last job I had four times, four times. The first five jobs I had in my life, I was fired from all of them. The sixth job I had, I was fired four times and just refused to leave. Yes, sir, I got it, I'm fired. And I'd go out and produce. So I commend you for coming back. 
And I also want to acknowledge that you won the race this morning. You were first or second up the road. First. You were the first one to quit with the weights, dude, but somebody had to. You were amazing. You're just not an athletic guy. Or we're not hiring. I'm not hiring fullbacks here. It's just you came in almost dead last. Everything. You're a nice person. I like you. I need stamina. I need strength. I need people that are ready. The whole package. You don't have whatever it takes. Thank you for coming. I cut Lucy because she's not a fighter, and I need a fighter. I can't argue with you. The door swings both ways. But you don't know what you're missing. Thank you. The person that's made the least mistakes today. The person that's been the most consistent today. I've been the most consistent today. Went after it every single time. I'm the best salesman here. I'm the one you want. I'm the one that's going to get this company help produce in this company. Consistently last. Consistently every time last. I'm a finisher. You told me that there were, there were no golf references in your book. You came back, I found three golf references. I knew there were golf references in this book. You said there are. You're right, you're right. So I'm wrong. If you're right, I'm wrong. Your book. Okay, <laughs> let me see the book. You are one dumbass. Uh-oh. I'm not saying Greg can't spell. There are some grammatical errors. I love editors. They've never written a book. I've written tons of articles. Read that. Chapter nine, the magic of agreement. Always agree with the customer. Okay, that's good. Who's your customer right now? You are. That's right. So rather than editing my book, once you learn from it. Robarts, you have whatever it takes. Now you guys, you guys gotta convince me who's going. I study this book. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, Friday, I had- You done... studied that book? Did you know about the first line on chapter nine? When I hire you, I'm your customer. I'm his customer. I'm her customer. They have to come to me every day and take care of business. I'm her customer. I have to please my wife. At times, I become her customer. She has to please me. Robards made it because he made the fewest mistakes. He was most consistent, even though he didn't win all the challenges. You reminded me today about the lifeline. So I grabbed Sherry and said, Sherry, did the pastor do a lifeline? Yes, he did. Did V do one? Yes, he did. Now the directions I gave you with the lifelines show my products, my brand, my company, and my name in the best light possible. You could use that as your lifeline. So I'm gonna roll the two videos. Which of these videos shows my company, my brand, my family, these people, everything here in the best light possible? For those not familiar with his work, Grant is a Wall Street Journal New York Times and Amazon bestseller. He's also a very successful American entrepreneur. As I walk through the office, I feel uplifted by all the motivational quotes surrounding me. It's hard not to take notice of the amazing views of Miami Beach and how it beams of energy and success. I was able to pick up a copy of Cardone's book, Sell to Survive, during my visit to the office. I was honored that he took the time to autograph it for me and gave it back to me personally. The book was an easy read, I could not put it down. It also provided a practical approach to selling. I recommend that you take 5-10 to 10 minutes of your time to visit his website, grandcardone.com. Very good job, very nice. I thought that was very professional, showed all my products, talked about the company in a very favorable light. I like the low key thing, cause I'm all high, punchy up. You brought in the low key thing, give people a different angle, piece to a different audience. Let's roll the next video, please. The pastor's video. When Grant sees the video that I made, there's no way he's not gonna hire me. For 22 years, I ran my own business and I did pretty well. I was a good salesman. And then I got sick and I got cancer and I had my, my nose removed. And I was feeling very down and very out. And I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do. So. I ended up coming across this book. It, it kind of was like a, a reborn again. Basically the same things that I had pretty much grown up knowing anyway, but this reconfirmed it and it moved me to where I think I can overcome my disability at this point. I, I have renewed belief that I'm going to be able to get myself a new nose. I have hope again. And I think that I'm going to be able to do very well 
with the renewed, renewed thoughts that, that this book has given me. And I'm very proud to have been able to have a chance to read it. I'm going to move into the future with a good positive attitude now. Pete, did you have trouble watching that? Yes. Do you think that video shows my products, my company, my brand in the best light? Let me I see your hands right now. Why are you shaking? I've been cold all day and I'm... Why are you so nervous right now? I get very nervous at job interviews. You don't have whatever it takes. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I gave everybody an assignment to create a video about our products and our brand. Jason was actually very, very impressive today. He impressed me all day long. He actually blew me away over and over and over again. And then when I saw the video, I'm like, oh yeah, that's the real Jason. He's dangerous. I feel for the gentleman in the video. I hope the book gives him a restored ability to reach up and do whatever he needs to do in life. And not having a nose or whatever your problem is should never keep you from doing what you want to do in life. But Jason did that to create shock. Now, you told me to never leave. You need to leave now. <laughs> Thank you. It's down to you too. You both worked very hard. I never cut anybody over one challenge. V did more in that gym than he ever imagined he could do. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does in this last challenge. You're overweight, dude. I've been overweight before. I don't like it. I know you can't like that. Hate it. You're the strongest guy out there and you had to let go of the rope because you're carrying 30 pounds you shouldn't be carrying. You're right. All of us here try to take care of ourselves. It's hard, man. It's work every day just to keep the extra pounds off. I love Robards. I'm concerned that Robards is just the empty suit that my man John said he was. But if you can't take care of your body, you can't take care of my office, you can't take care of my customers, and you're not gonna have the extra energy when things get tough, and it gets tough around here. I see more use for Dave with what I do than V. I really admired V's video, and we have a lot of need to reach people. Dave could make some phone calls, but V has the potential to reach millions. Dude, that low-key thing he does, Man, that was compelling, buddy. When I saw your video, I was like, oh, man. I, I just couldn't turn it off. Know anything about the internet? Yes. What? That there is one? <laughs> uh, I know how to post videos now. Uh, I know how to uh, find things. I know how to Google things, uh, yeah. uh, get information. Does he know anything about the internet? No. No. It's not going to cut it. It'd be like me asking, hey, do you know anything about stars? Yeah, they're out there. <laughs> I need robards to know how to think on his feet when things go awry. You guys are going to the Miami International Airport. You're going to meet a friend of mine there, a good friend of mine, one of my best friends. We're going to go on a Phenom 300, $12 million jet. It's one of three that he owns. One of three. I'm going to him. My wife and I are going to go meet the governor tonight when we leave there. One of you will have a job tonight. This is Jared Glant. He's going to set up for you your last challenge. All right, guys, congratulations on making it this far. Your final challenge will be taking this book, The 10X Rule. It's Mr. Cardone's most recent book, and it embodies everything that we've asked you to do over the last couple days. You have 30 minutes to study this book and learn everything you can about it. You're gonna be asked to make a creative marketing pitch to a genius, a marketing genius. An airplane's a very intimidating place. You've gotta be able to present in a scenario that's uncomfortable. If it, It's easy when it's easy. The guy's built an extremely successful multi-million dollar company based off of strategic integration of data into marketing campaigns. He will be the judge, and the best pitch wins the competition. Cannot wait for them to pitch me on the plane, especially a big, tall dude that, that just has this attitude. Any questions? How so, long does the pitch need to be? That's going to be a neat thing, because I'm, I've learned this in business. You have to be able to present to people you don't like. You have 30 minutes to study. This guy is a multimillionaire, created it from scratch. Most of those people have very little time. It's hard when you're under pressure, and it's hard. This guy has thousands of companies that do business with him. They use him for his direct mail campaigns. I want you to sell him on why to use this book with his tens of thousands of customers. This guy's brilliant, he's genius, and he's successful and you would never know it. You need to convince him how to use that book with his tens of thousands of customers so that he'll want to buy that book in bulk. Who wins this? I win this. I win it. You have 30 minutes starting right now. We're gonna see how they both handle the surprise in the next challenge.
I want you to meet John Hamlin. It's just a tremendous friend of mine. Hi. Great to meet you. We have met. Have we? Good to meet you again. Um, aren't you the guy that had a little trouble being in the same, couldn't be in the same room with me? Is that you? Uh, we have met. Have we? You really don't remember me? <laughs> what do you suppose this might be worth? Dude, you gotta quit busting on me about the pen. Now do you remember me? <laughs> When you pay $300 for a pen in my office and that freaked him out, it shows you how he thinks about money. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't think in your lifetime you would take and spend money on books and just give them away. He That's thinks right. he everything has to be resold. said exactly this. I asked another individual, could you work with him? And you said... It was tough being in the room with him. It was absolute shock to see John. I had no idea that it was going to be him. And uh, as soon as I saw him, I said, oh. Did I say anything bad about this guy? Uh, what do you got? So, your clients, do they want to know what the only difference between success and failure is? I understand that you're in the business of database marketing mm -hmm. and email marketing and direct mailers, correct? As a successful business person, did you have a mentor or a millionaire guiding you? Um, not many people have that opportunity. This book has everything that, you're gonna, that your clients are ever going to want to know about being successful. That's why this book is important, Grant. This book, I'm John, he's Grant. John, sorry. This book contains valuable information from a millionaire, which is easy to read and helps people better reach their goals, destroy the competition, and keep moving forward. It talks about success. It talks about the rules of success, how to build that fire within you. Now it's called 10x, and what 10x means is if we're going to set a goal, we're going to set that goal 10 times beyond what we're trying to accomplish. You know, having that fire so big that other people stop what they're doing and pay only attention to you. And as soon as that fire, you think it's big enough, you throw another log on that fire and you throw another log on that fire until the world, until the world is sitting there watching you. How much do you think it'd be worth to me? It's invaluable. It's priceless. This Absolutely. book is like having a millionaire as a mentor. After I read this book, I woke up every single morning saying, I'm 10x in my life, okay? Every time it's time for me to make a wish, I say, I'm 10x in my life. I asked myself when I got here today, how am I doing with 10x in my life? And I'm sitting here with two multimillionaires saying, hey, it's working. Um, so what do you want from me and why? Because When you want your clients to feel the same way about this book and their life the way I do about this man in this book, then it's time, to, it's time to get into this book. I, I wanted to tell you at the beginning, it's, it's $30. I'd like to partner with you. We're in the business of helping people. With a, with a happier, more successful client base, it'll, you also grow as well. Oh, you want me to buy the book? Okay. Yeah, I'll, cool. I wanted to tell you that at the beginning. So okay. I should, should have told you that at the beginning. This, this is about buying the book. We'd like you to take our books at a wholesale price and distribute it to your client base. A 50% return on investment. What's a 50% return on investment? John, let me ask you, have you seen enough to justify the $30 for that book? So if you take... So what am I selling the book? You came on this plane to sell me a book. So you want me to buy the books and then sell them and, and make money on them? Correct. Distribute, make, like be a distributor? Right? Yes, we will sell it to you at a wholesale cost. That's what's in it for me is money? Not only money, you, you'll be empowering Americans to achieve their level of success, and another level of success. It, I came. Is that 10x? At least tell me 10. At least tell me 10 books. I came you know to saying, get bro? you to buy this in bulk. Thousands of books. Oh, I'm, okay. I was curious because I thought, man, you're gonna, I can, I can get this at a bookstore. No, this is about. Oh. This is. This is about your clients. Have you? Have, have I been able to tell you enough to justify getting this book? I don't know. So, what do you say? Are you? I'm just not sure. You're just I'm not, not sure? sure. I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't. I don't. I don't sell books. Yeah. Are you busy? I'm not sure if I want to, you know, invent some not, you, you haven't got me excited. And do you not believe from your heart of hearts, right, that if I help somebody else get to the next level, somehow I'll get rewarded? You're not sure about the book or you're not sure? Oh, I love the you book. You I love, love the, book. the book. I'm just not sure of the, of the intent of what you want me to do here. Or if they do better, they have more what? They have more money. And who do they spend success. their money with? Uh, what I would ask me right now, 
Do you want to start with 5,000 or would 10,000 be better? You're going to go all in, Mr. Trinkers? Oh, I look like I screw around. If you want to talk to me about, about what would motivate me is first helping another human being. Trust me on this. Honestly, just ask for the order. So you want 5,000 or do you want to go all in with 10,000? Screw the rest of it. You want to make a bunch of a boatload of money, be of service. The money will come. I think we should do 10,000. Really? Yes, we should. Okay. I'll give it all the consideration. If it was me, you want to know what I'd do? I'd ask for the fucking order. Oops, I can't say that, can I? You can say anything you want. Thank you, V. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks, John. All right, man. I said, couldn't this, even be this the This got to be a little difficult. <laughs> How's this feel? Yeah. You know what? You never you know. It, gets, it gets me to stop judging. You know, you but there you go. never know. You, you never know. V, did you not know who that was? When you first came in? It, it just really threw me off. Like, it's supposed to. Are you really a... John, what happened? No question the man has a tr tremendous passion. You know, he didn't ask for the order. And I don't care how much passion you've got. If you don't ask for the order, you go home, bro. I didn't see the robot. Right. Absolutely. I can teach him how to ask for the order. I agree. But I thought he wanted you to buy one book. Again, we can teach him. Like yeah. you said, you can teach him to ask for the order. How long did it take you to perfect your pitch? I'm still perfecting it. What would you give him? If how I didn't need it. Okay. That's, why, that's why people like you are so, so damn valued in society. Because no matter where we think we've arrived, we haven't. I learn yeah. from you every fucking day, and that's just off camera. I don't, no, it's I not mean, off camera. I'm serious. Camera. All right, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so say it again. Uh, <laughs> I just, I said serious. It, it, you never stop learning. You, you guys have stopped learning, stop going. That's why people like you are so nece necessary for society. And that's why the service you offer people, Grant, is so valuable. What mistake did V make? He just got nervous, and he didn't have, uh, comparing the two, he really didn't have the passion. Mm -hmm. He was very nervous, but, you know, I learned something about the other gentleman. He has a tremendous amount of passion. Yeah. V didn't have the passion. He was trying too hard to sell rather than just be himself and put his passion behind what he believes about your book. Right. Now, I, and i tell you where he lost it for me. When he started talking about you reselling books. So, hey, thanks for your time. Let's go out. I know exactly who I'm getting rid of. Okay, guys, we're going to go to the conference center. I'm going to make my decision. Jared, what do you think happened? Well, just based off of what I know of the two, I think Dave probably has a little bit more selling ability. Uh, v proved to be scrappy today. I, at this point, I would say it's up in the air between the two of them. I thought the same. I thought uh, V was kind of the sleeper, and Dave is sort of a natural salesperson. But V comes in there, and I think he has the power to be very persuasive. John, what'd you see? Uh, it was kind of the same thing. I, I did project in my own mind that it would be the both of you sitting here this evening. You caught me with your passion. You didn't ask me for the order, but in those circumstances, I think anybody would be hard. I picked you all the way through. It wasn't until the sales scenario was this evening that I changed. I love my friend John, <laughs> but it doesn't matter what he thinks. Just I'm not a sales professional. Everybody's a sales you professional. Know. There's going to be a moment in your life where everyone is forced to ask for an order, and neither one of you did. I told you, the man you're going to meet is a multi-millionaire. I'm bringing you to one of his three private planes. Could have spent 20 seconds apologizing for treating the man the way you did. Mr. Hamlin. Can you forgive me for the way I treated you back at Mr. Cardone's office? <laughs> yes. I blew it. I learned a big lesson from that. Never do it again. Thank you. Right. Don't hold that against all me. All good. Okay? It's all good. All you had to do was walk into the man's plane and say, Mr. Cardone sent me here to ask you for an order of 5000 or 10000 Which would you like to do? Mr. Cardone sent me here to get an order of 5000 books or 10000 from you that you could distribute to your clients. You know how valuable the 10X rule is. You know how much they'll get from it. Mm -hmm. Can I get 5,000 or 10,000 from you, sir? I appreciate it, and it'd get me a job. Get your, what would 1,000 get you? 1,000? Probably get me a job, too. I think I'd take 1,000. Could have done it in the first 20 seconds, and then spent the next 20 seconds closing a deal, and I guarantee you he'd flip you his black card. He's got black shoes, black cars, and black cards. 30 grand, 50 grand, 100 grand means nothing to him. He wants to help people. You know, the truth of the matter is, if you'd have walked up to me and said, Grant Cardone sent me here to sign you up for 5,000 books, I'd sign. Never assume anything, man. Go for it. So I'm going to hire one of you. And I'm telling you, you lost. But I'm telling you, you lost it, too, because you had the guy with your tears, dude. Your passion, he forgot you hated his guts. Your pitch was so good. I almost started crying for you. Not the empty suit that he called you and not a robot. I saw somebody alive, not dependent on a script, and I was moved. 
There's character in there after all. Thank you. But this guy's intelligence, dude, is... Okay. I don't know what his IQ is. It's serious. I gotta make a decision. Who do I pick? You pick me. Pick me. Why? You pick me because of my passion, my ability to come from the heart. The fact that I'm gonna, I learn from my mistakes and I've stopped beating myself up for failures. And I, you know I'm giving it everything I've got and I'm gonna continue for continue to do ev all v of that. V pick, pick me because I have knowledge in the market that you're, you're not tapping well, well enough into. There are lots of salesmen out there, but I can leverage the internet to bring in more sales. I can go internationally very easily. All we need to do is ship. Anywhere there's internet, we can, ad we can advertise, we can target people. Where's the internet at, Robert? On the computer. On the computer. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is on the computer. Beautiful. Where's the airplane? Beautiful. Is it the airport? <laughs> Jared, this is what I'm gonna do. Forget it, Jared. I'm hiring Robarts. Okay. <sighs> For your passion. Thank you. You made the right decision. And I'm gonna put a deal together with you. I appreciate it. To do our internet sales. I appreciate it. Thank right. you. I want you in the office. Congratulations. Monday. We're going to do a 1099 deal with you. Okay. Don't get time for crying out loud. <laughs> We're going to do a Skype call, figure out how you, we can use you. Okay. You need to be in my office on Monday. Yes, okay? sir. You start Monday. You need to call me Monday. Okay. I want to figure out how to do a deal where you can get a revenue share on my pay-per-click. Okay. Through to the internet, online sales only. Okay. All right? All right. You guys both did great. Thank you. Good job. And apologize to my friend John Hamlin. John. I'm sorry, John. Good. So good. John, you want to All buy right. some books? I'll buy a pen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How many do you want to buy? Come on, man. Come on, Congratulations. Sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job, guys. Right? Okay, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank Very you. well done. V, congratulations. Thank you so much. Happy endings, huh, Mama? Yes, I love that. <laughs> I knew I was just going to come in there, and I was going to come from the heart, and it was just going to flow out. I get to do what I'm good at, and I, I get to still work with Grant. The two biggest lessons that I learned, number one, ask for the deal, man. I, I am still, like, in shock. Visa or MasterCard, as Grant would say. I can imagine this going any better. Don't assume anything. I had fun. I pushed myself. I'm glad I won. I really am, and it's okay for me to celebrate and own my success. This was the ultimate job interview. This is the ultimate job interview. V has tools I don't have. I need them. The big boy, he came alive today. I saw him for the first time. It was the physical exercise, the contest, me jumping in his head. One guy's got passion, the other guy's got intelligence. I can use one in a sales department in front of people. I can use the other guy on the internet. I hired them both. I mean, that's what I did. I hired them both. I can only be 100% wrong. What's the name of the show? Whatever it takes!